Hello and welcome to the Sands Holiday Hack Challenge 2025. We're excited that you're here and we can't wait to get you in this wonderful game to help build vital cybersecurity skills. My name is Ed Scotus and I'm the president of the Sands Technology Institute College and the Chief Holiday Officer for the Sands Institute. In this brief video, I'll share with you some new aspects of this year's Holiday Hack Challenge. First off, what is it? Well, the Sands Holiday Hack Challenge is a fun cybersecurity game where you'll learn vital, hands-on cybersecurity skills in a virtual holiday-themed world. It's the Sands Institute's gift to the community, and I think you're gonna love it. And remember, we build these challenges for all skill levels, for people who are brand new to cybersecurity, all the way up to some of the most seasoned experts in the industry. There's something for everyone, and it's all designed to help you learn and make you smile. This year, we feature challenges on all kinds of exciting topics, including penetration testing, post-quantum cryptography, identity token analysis, cloud blob storage, and so much more. We've created over 15 micro challenges, each designed to be solvable in 10 to 15 minutes or less, imparting vital cybersecurity skills fast. We've also got three or four capstone challenges for the experts, which may require an hour or more of analysis for each one. The difficulty level of each challenge is highlighted in our challenge list with a certain number of snowballs, ranging from one to five. One snowball indicates an easier challenge, while five snowballs means it's much more complex. Also, the game is chock full of hints for you, so don't be shy about taking a hint if you need it. We also have a Discord server easily accessible from within the game with dedicated channels for each and every challenge. People on Discord share hints, collaborate, and make friends. This year, the Holiday Hack Challenge is open from November 5th, 2025, and the competition runs until January 5th, 2026. So you'll have two full months to play and submit answers to win a prize, including access to the Sands Skills Quest by NetWars range. It's a brand new cyber range from Sands, or even a free Sands course to our grand prize winner. All write-ups must be submitted by January 5th, 2026 to be eligible to win. So enough of that, let's talk about the game itself and discuss some very new aspects for this year. First off, we're releasing everything on our November 5th launch. Last year, we tried a phased release pattern through much of November and December, but people asked us to release it all at once this year so they could work on it earlier and when they had the time. So we did. To play the game, go to sands.org slash holiday hack and click the big play now button. You'll then log in by creating a new account or you could use an account you created last year. Or you could log in using your Google or X logins. Once you log in, you'll get an intro to this year's story, which is not set in the North Pole this year. We're back to the same neighborhood that we featured in Holiday Hack 2015, which was titled Gnome in Your Home. Now with fresh updates and a new caper for you to solve. This year, those old gnomes have come back to life and are wandering around the city. We call it Revenge of the Gnomes. Once in the game, you'll be on the train. Talk with our counterhack chief of staff to get yourself oriented. Also, we've got a big new feature of the game. Listen to this one carefully and maybe even make a note of it. You can rotate the entire holiday hack world around your avatar by using the Q and E keys on your keyboard. That'll let you explore things in more detail. Once you're in the game, you can see a tool tray on the upper right hand side of your screen. There, you can click the question mark to read more about Holiday Hack. Click on the speaker icon to mute sound and music. Click on the Discord icon to go to the Discord server. The gear icon is where you'll find detailed settings for your game experience, including audio controls. And the little account icon is where you can customize your avatar, changing your head, torso, and legs. The home button moves you to the central point in the game. At the center of your avatar, you'll see a little snowball. Click that and it'll take you to your badge. Your badge is super important. It stores all elements of the game that you've experienced so far, including the scoreboard, our story, a map, your objectives, conversations you've had with non-player characters, and of course, the super important hints tab in the badge. That hints tab will change as you gain hints throughout the game. And you'll see those hints stored there in your badge as you open them up. One of the most exciting new features we've added this year is invoked on the left-hand side of your screen. If you click on the little Santa icon, you'll see a holographic Santa Claus appear next to your avatar in the game. Santa will show you nearby challenges as well as let you click a button to get hints. When Hologram Santa gives you hints, they appear in your snowball badge 
in the Hint tab, so make sure you look for them there. Another new feature we've added this year is what we call Capture the Flag Style, or CTF Style. Most of our players love hopping around the Holiday Hack world with their avatar, seeing the story unfold and interacting with non-player characters while solving challenges and listening to music. You could also see other players hopping around there around you. But we realize that some players want just the challenges and nothing but the challenges. No story, no characters, no world. If you want to try CTF mode, click on your avatar snowball badge and then go to settings. At the top of the screen, you'll see an option for game mode. Traditional mode will have all the fun bells and whistles, while CTF style will just give you the challenges. You can, of course, switch back to traditional mode by going back to settings and clicking traditional. So you can jump into or out of traditional mode and CTF style mode. We've also kept our support of cohorts in the game. So if you want a custom scoreboard for just you and your friends, you can create a cohort. To do so, when you first log in, you'll see a screen that has a button for join or create a cohort. Click on that and you can join a cohort if someone has given you a cohort join code, or you can create a cohort by giving us a unique cohort name. We'll then give you a join code for your cohort to share with your friends, and now you'll all be on your same cohort scoreboard to compare with each other. You can exit a cohort at any time to be on the main scoreboard if you'd like, and then you can rejoin later using your cohort join code. So that's what I wanted to share with you today, my friends. Please help Santa and the crew solve the mystery of the revenge of the gnomes and set things right in the neighborhood. We at the Sands Institute hope you really enjoy the 2025 Sands Holiday Hack Challenge and learn a bunch of useful things from it while having fun. Drop by our Discord server to say hello sometime. And we wish you all a most wonderful, happy holiday season.